Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the 19th tutorial on algorithmic trading for beginners. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about one more transaction related function, a function in MQL4, which allows us to modify orders which already exist in the market. And this function is called order modify. So with no further ado, let's proceed to a meta editor and uh, start looking at how all of this works within the code. So we're going to take tutorial 18 and we're going to build upon uh, the existing code. So we'll uh, save this as um, tutorial 19. Uh, cha we'll change the number up here. And um, there we go. So if we compile that, it all works, all compiles. And um, I'll just quickly recap on what we already have. Uh, we uh, accept external variables from the trader. We use these variables to calculate stop loss and take profit levels. We use these stop loss and take profit levels to send an order to the market. Um, currently, we are working with your dollar. And um, then we have a fail safe mechanism in place. So if uh, there were any errors when sending the order, then will uh, the trader will be notified. Otherwise, uh, we know that um, the number of the order is stored in the ticket variable, and this ticket variable is used further down the track in the program. So this part uh, is um, executed if there were no errors when sending the order. Uh, we tell the trader that um, the order was sent successfully, and then this bit over here, this bit is... Uh, related to closing the order. So I'll just put a comment here, closing the order. And um, uh, here we uh, practiced closing the order and we told the trader that the order is, being closed, is going to be closed. Uh, we use the order close function uh, in combination with the ticket number to actually close that uh, order. And once again, we had a fail safe. We have a fail safe mechanism here, uh, telling us uh, if everything went all right or not. Um, so we're not. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to replace this bit, the closing of the order uh, bit, with uh, modifying um, the order, and uh, that is going to um, just save us time, basically, and. Uh, uh, allow us to practice modifying the order instead of closing it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'll just comment this out for now, this bit. And then uh, we'll just create a very similar bit to that, but we'll modify the order instead. So here we'll say modifying the order. And um, uh, Let's just start coding it right away. So alert, we want to tell the trader that we are modifying the order. Um, then we will be using the order modify function. So let's uh, highlight this function and go into its um, help. Uh, or MQL4 reference and uh, just have a look at it at how it works. So the order modify function, it, um, I'll just transfer this um, into MQL4 so it's in a bigger font. Uh, so that's how it looks. Uh, the order modify function has, uh, takes uh, several variables, uh, which are ticket, price, stop loss, take profit, expiration, and arrow color, and it returns a boolean. So it's uh, similar to both the order send function and order close function. It's similar to the order close function in the sense that it returns a boolean. So we already know, and we can check this, we can confirm this with the reference that boolean uh, uh, means that if the function succeeds, it returns true, otherwise it returns false. So in that sense, it's very similar to the order close function. Uh, and it is similar to the order send function in the, in the way that it um, requires, oh, you can pass a stop loss and take profit parameter uh, to it, which allows you to control those two um, levels associated with uh, the order you're modifying. Uh, 
and also you can change the price but that is something separate that is for the changing the price only relates to pending orders and that's something we're not going to be looking at um for now uh we'll we'll look at that uh, in the more advanced course on mql4 uh, but at this stage we don't need to worry about the price and uh, uh the ticket number is the number basically the ticket number of the ticket or of, of the order that uh, you'd like to modify and these two last parameters the expiration also relates to pending orders which uh, we won't be worrying about for now and um, the color we, we put, I, I basically never worry about the color I just use the default uh, settings um, so that's that let's um, create our order modify function so we already have the ticket we know uh, that we have that variable uh, double price because we're not modifying a pending order we will just put zero for price because the order is already open so we can't change the price uh, stop loss and take profit so this is um, uh, the main probably the main reasons why you would modify an order to adjust uh, the stop loss level or the take profit level uh, so let's what we'll do we'll um, uh, we will adjust the stop loss and take profit level and set them for example to uh, 20 pips or we'll actually set them to double of what the trader has asked for so we'll take uh, we'll take the bid price uh, for um, sorry is this so this is the stop loss for so for the stop loss we'll take the bid price and we'll subtract two times stop stop loss and then multiplied by point so this is if this is 10 then this is 20 and this is 20 pips so 0 0.0020 and then we subtract 20 pips from the bid price um, and we'll do a similar uh, thing for take profit but we'll go bid plus 2 times take profit times point and um, we have to put a zero for daytime expiration because it is a required parameter, but uh, in this case, it will be ignored. Uh, semicolon. Uh, same thing as previously, we'll have a bool res uh, variable uh, to, to create a failsafe mechanism. Uh, we can actually just copy this from here put it in and if res is false then we want to say alert error not closing order but modifying order and otherwise order modified successfully and um, so we'll do one more uh, sneaky thing here we will add a delay uh, and that uh, to what that will do is uh, actually before after opening the order so after all of this happens but before all of this happens we want to uh, maybe wait for one second so that we have a chance to actually look at the chart and see what what has happened and then we'll uh, modify the order so uh, this is not necessary but it's something uh, it's good to know so the delay is uh, given uh, by the sleep function and sleep uh, tells the uh, program to stop working for a certain amount of milliseconds so in this case we want to stop working for um, let's make it 2000 milliseconds which is uh, a delay of two seconds I'm, I'm pretty sure this can come in handy uh, in some of your programs down the track as well so we'll compile that uh, no errors or warnings and let's go to the terminal and see how this works um, so if we go to scripts uh, take tutorial 19 drag it onto the chart inputs as you can see 10 and 10 oh sorry um, so that's uh, what happens when um, there has been an error and luckily our failsafe mechanism has uh, picked that up uh, so in this case, um, uh, the error was uh, that expert advisors and uh, scripts, well, basically all algorithmic trading systems are switched off. So we have to switch it on up here. Um, and I, 
the way I know it, I just, uh, in this case, I just uh, remembered that they were uh, off. Uh, but um, uh, from that message, we can't really tell what the error was. And um, that's something we won't go into that amount of detail in this course. But if uh, you would like uh, to learn more about that, then uh, I encourage you to have a look at the more advanced course on MQL4. So now we'll just drag uh, tutorial 19 over to the chart. Um, so 10 and 10, we'll click OK. So there you go, order is opened. And now order has been modified. Uh, I hope I hope you call, uh, saw that. Um, let's let's quickly go uh, back and change the delay for to five seconds, for example, we'll compile that. Okay. Uh, tutorial 19. So I'll just close this order so it's not in a way. Tutorial 19, drag. Um, so let's say, let's say take profit at 20 and then it, will, it should be changed to 40. All right. So there it is. The order has been opened. Now in a few seconds it will be modified. There you go. As you can see, the take profit and the stop loss have doubled. Um, and that's exactly what we were uh, looking for. So that's that. That's how um, you modify orders in uh, MQL4. And uh, I hope uh, that this tutorial was useful. Uh, have a play around with that and uh, maybe create your own rules for modifying orders and to what levels you want to modify. Maybe uh, it might be worth adding uh, extra external parameters just to uh, for the new stop loss and take profit and um, just to basically uh, train up your skills a little bit more. And uh, as always, you can find the source code of uh, this tutorial on um, www.forexboat.com. And uh, when you do, uh, if you do visit me on Forexboat, then uh, I do encourage you to subscribe to my newsletter and that way I can keep you up to date on uh, all the free tutorials that I'm uh, creating. And uh, uh, I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Until then, happy coding.